Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Dot Hack Volume 2 Reminisce is playable with BCSX2 within RetroArch. So we've done Volume 1 and 3. And on. No. Sure. Cool. I'm wondering if Volume 2 is going to end up being. Oh, that's weird. That's where they had the new logo. Well, new logo up until recently, where they changed it again to being more boring than the original. <laughs> no, but Volume 3, I'm pretty sure, had the playable character being level 99. So I'm curious what level they'll be in this. Level 50, maybe? Oh, it actually asks, <laughs> would you like to skip? Ooh, Electric Boogaloo. It has now become a place where players prey on other <gasps> players. No. A lawless land filled with an overabundance of PKs. <laughs> and the PKKer, feared by all PKers, was Haseo. The terrible. Oh, there he is. That was his name. Haseo searched and at long last found his hated enemy, Triage. But discovered he was no match for him. God. You could just imagine when they recorded the voice lines for that. What's a PK? -er? It's a player killer. Huh? <laughs> just one of those things. Adelie! Get away from there! Huh? Do we actually get to play? Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be safe now. Why does Haseo look so different? I suppose this is between 1 and 3. We only saw him in 1 and in 3. In 3 he was all kitted out with all kinds of armor. Okay, how many cutscenes? I need to ask around Makanu. I should start by asking as many players as possible. Oh yeah, I can ride my bike. Meow. Okay, so what am I doing? Whoa! I just wanted to ride around on the bike. So what is this? It's a what point? Safe shop, chaos gate. Hmm. I, mean, I don't really care about making progress with the story. If I can get into combat, then that's fine. It serves as a good test. But it's whether or not the game's actually going to let me do that. Level 11. I'm level 40. Perfect. Okay, it lets me do that. That's what That works. Hidden Obsessive Night Moon. Hey, this looks very familiar, actually. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, it looks very familiar to uh, Volume 3. Pretty sure this is the dungeon I went to both times? Maybe? I'm honestly not bothered. I only want to do this to see if the game falls apart when it comes to combat. It doesn't seem it does. Oh my god, they did so much damage. Wow, I do seven grand. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. So the game has slight drops whenever you, uh, I think whenever you initiate battle and also finish. Which, on, I don't really count, to be honest. Like, yeah, it's a slight dip, but that's the kind of thing that would also occur on actual hardware, so. But I know the, the draw of emulation is because it's supposed to run better than the original hardware. But whatever. Meow, meow. Of course you didn't, you're level 40. Jackass. <laughs> My god, these enemies are so... so weak. It's almost like they're level 11s. I prefer this though, as opposed to what I did in uh, Outbreak. I just went to a random world and I got my arse kicked. 
Oh no, it's a trap. The chemsphere. Do I have to? Surprise! Oh, I didn't surprise him. What does R1 do? Oh, Gale Blade. I can use a lot of Gale Blades. Oh my god. Got him. Oh. Gun Bezel. On the plus side, I'm getting 3 XP. Oh yeah, Jim Jims. And just kick him. So many gyms in possession. Hell yeah. Gym sphere needed. Oh, I need a uh, a lot more gyms. Oh, I don't even know if I kicked it. I think I may have kicked it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, right, I see. I could just use that to kick them down. Come on! I missed the button. That was dumb. How many do I have now? 14. There we go. Got it! Not bad. Bloody chims. I don't actually know how big the dungeon is. Wasn't I entirely sure if that's intended? With the minimap? Okay, I think it I think it is. Having it be like a Yeah, that's the reason I don't think it's intentional. It's like it's a gradient, but the gradient starts 25% of the way into it. That doesn't make sense. It looks weird. It's just a little puzzling. I'm just gonna assume it's intended, so sod it. I need five gems. Okay, I guess I go back to the gym room and get five of them. I'm fairly happy with the performance of the game though. Must be said. It's been pretty decent. Well no, it's been perfect. As I said, there's been dips. Not even really here and there, and it seemed it only happened with the first battle. It dipped very slightly going into the fight, and then it dipped very slightly when going out of it, so... Can I get all three of them? I wonder. You can indeed. Get back here. Look at their little legs go. Come on. There we go. So there's four. That gives you ten. Oh my god. If only I knew. So every time you hit that green button next to the hole, there's a chance. It's a super powerful, a powerful one. It's a gold one that comes out. Well, the way you know. Yeah, we'll open up that steam door and see what happens. Probably nothing. It'll just be a regular old room. Yeah, I doubt it'll be that important. Hey! Oh! Oh my god, he gets shot at. So it's just a trap room. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now let's just beat this and see. I want to see if the, uh... If it dips at all. Or if that was just like a one-time thing. Yeah, no dip. I think it was just the first battle. For some reason. Which is fine. Not bad. Health drink. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the performance. So I would have to say that Doc, Doc Hack Reminisce is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.